Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Settle It and Smash. That's Scared Dunks. Welcome to Great Cave Offensive, the first big Settle It and Smash event in quite a while since Flat Zone Extreme, the second one ever. I don't know how the audio sounds right now. I know it was low. I don't know why it was low. It was set to the default. The sound is good now. Well, that's great to hear. That's absolutely fantastic news. But also make sure you let me know uh, how the sound is once the actual fights happen. Speaking of fights, we've got quite a few fights here tonight, including the Smash Ultimate Championship match in the main event where Rob will face that dastardly hacker, Jigglypuff, after being jumped by Jigglypuff, a part of him removed to make that evil robot version. Wait, I guess he is just, I guess he is a robot version of himself. To make the evil Rob, Ganondorf jumped him in the hospital just in a frenzy. It's It's been a rough time for our champion. But he's here nonetheless, and we are going to kick things off the same way we always kick off these big events. With the Omega Battle Royal. I have no idea where Great Cave Offensive is on here. My brain must parse this area for it. There it is. I see it. <coughs> we have eight random competitors selected to participate in this Omega Battle Royal. And the winner will be guaranteed a match at the next big event. And did you know that you can help decide the next big event? That's in fact correct. We are going to decide the, the, the stage of the next event a little differently than we did for Flat Zone and Great Cave Offensive. Uh, but the first, the first part of deciding it, where the hell there it is? The first part of deciding it is going to be the same, which is either you're going you're gonna to give it a suggestion of what stage you would like to see have its own event. Send it to me either on Twitter, on the subreddit, or in the comments of the YouTube video. Any of those three can help uh, decide, and we will go from there. It, there. There will be a poll this time based on suggestions as well as some other options. Whereas before it went solely off the people that liked a suggestion the most. We're gonna we're gonna go with a poll this time. So make your suggestions any of those three places and after a little bit of time I will make a poll based on those said suggestions. What's happening other than Great Cave Offensive? The first event, the I mean, I'm sorry. The first match of Great Cave Offensive, the Omega Battle Royal. The win, I don't know how many, is it said the three socks? The winner, guaranteed, a match at the next event. Please don't ha reset all of the characters I just chose. For the love of God. Thank God. All right. In this opening contest, it's going to be Mega Man versus Daisy versus Luigi versus Richter versus Villager versus Isabel versus Kirby and versus Pikachu Libre. One of these competitors guaranteed a match at the next event. We've got some of the audience already rooting for Richter. <coughs> of course, most matches here tonight not going to be on this simple flat battlefield, but rather in the massive map that is the Great Cave Offensive. Pretty sleepy sometimes up since 7 a.m. to get glass in context. Dude, I hate doing that shit. That sucks. We see uh, Isabel off to an early lead here, followed closely behind by Kirby. Everyone else racking up damage real quick. The new WWE... 2k20 is a DLC. I don't know what that means. Let's go Pikachu Libre. I'm surprised to hear anyone rooting for Pikachu Libre as he's the first one dead. Considering all the dastardly things Pikachu Libre has done. Working for Marth to keep his identity a secret. 
Uh, my bitrate is poop? Is that just me? Is the bitrate poop for everyone else? Did it just, like, get substantially worse since the last time we streamed Smash? Why is everyone just dancing in the corner? To think that the match with the second most people in it will be the one with the smallest age. Uh, it's it's second smallest because, in fact, tonight we will see one match that won't be at Great Cave Offensive. And that will be the return of the Big Wheel Challenge. I will f up the bitrate after this match. Which, unfortunately, means I will have to restart the stream, but... I will edit, I, I'll fix it in post. So we'll, as soon as this match ends, I'll fix the bitrate. Luigi in last place right now, down his last life. Daisy just now went down. Daisy just now lost her first life, unless she got a bonus life at some point. Uh, Luigi has been defeated. He is not winning this Omega Battle Royal. Kirby throwing that sword out, grabbing a few people with it on the edge. Nobody dying, though, was not facing the blast zone. <clears throat> for those of you who don't know what the big wheel challenge is, you're in for a surprise later on tonight. We will also see Lucina pulling double duty as she defends the double team championships with Ludwig against Wally in the wall. And she will lead her squad strike team to defend the squad strike titles against the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. A lot of exciting matchups. Originally, uh, Lucario had been scheduled to be part of the squad strike championship match, but considering he's already fighting Lucas, we've decided he will just be given another match at the next event instead. Maybe it'll be for the squad strike title, maybe it'll be something else. Pikachu Libre has been eliminated from the Battle Royal. Villager currently in the lead. She still has two lives as Mega Man and Kirby are both now gone. Richter at a very dangerous percent. Daisy just fell to her death at 5%. You absolutely hate to see that happen. Villager looking to be in a very good position right now. It's so weird that the bitrate is so shitty. Richter trying to fight from a distance. He knows how much range these two Animal Crossing characters have. Of course, they're here to advertise their brand new game, Animal Crossing New Horizons, coming out next month. And Villager looking to be the winner here. Richter playing a dangerous game, getting hit by the Lloyd. Oh no. Stealing his his weapons. Guarding that smash ball. Villager doesn't need it, but Richter. Richter could win this if he gets that smash ball. Oh, but Villager gets it and gets the assist trophy. That's going to be it for Richter. And there it is. The Snagret taking Richter out. <coughs> and the pink-haired Villager is guaranteed a match at the next event. But a good showing from all of those involved. BRB. I will also BRB. Give me just a moment to up the bitrate and then the stream will go live again in just a second. All right. We uh we dealt with that ordeal to an extent. It's like an absolutely Ju it's just tolerable. Chat has decided to continue, so we're going to continue with tonight's festivities. And right out of the gate, it's going to be the individual who won some tournament. I don't even remember what tournament he won. It wasn't the last minute scramble, was it? Who the fuck won the last minute scramble? I have a legit. Oh, right, it was Zelda. Anyway, Shy Guy won a tournament and has chosen to fight his former boss, Bowser. Shy Guy absolutely dominating the tournament he was in and wants to prove that he is the baddest bad guy around, the new top dog. And he wants to prove it by facing off against Bowser. He has directly called him out, trying to put Bowser in his place here in Great Cave Offensive. 
Bowser, king of the Koopas. Not gonna let some lowly Shy Guy show him up, but Shy Guy, of course, does have his dragon battle body. You're right, he did win the competitive tournament. Because Jigglypuff won the, the tournament for the ultimate title. Shy Guy won competitive. Wally in the Wall won tag. Zelda won last minute scramble. All of those winners we will see you here tonight, starting with Shy Guy. You know, I would say the bitrate is not as bad when there's only two people on screen. It's it's the background, clearly. Like, you can see how bad the bitrate is in, like, the actual background. But, like, when they're, like, by the wall and stuff and it's zoomed in, it's not that bad. I think it's just the the all the motion of the train kind of kills the bitrate a little bit. And the background of Great Cave Offensive kills the bitrate a little bit. But not massively. Definitely don't do uh, the Omega Battlefield. Bowser using his minion, Gray Fox, to help do some damage to the Shy Guy. Bowser in a big lead here. all oh, getting a Goldeen. Not really doing that good for him. So Shy Guy going to have to do some ca uh, combos here. Try and crank up that damage. Nice parries by Bowser, but Shy Guy got him in the end. Now, of course, as you're already seeing here, Great Cave Offensive, these competitors are going to have to play a little bit differently than they normally would. It's not about just knocking your opponent off the screen. There's not a lot of room to do that here. In fact, there's a bit too much room to knock them anywhere else. The Goldeen fell into the lava. Rest in peace. Goldeen Memorial Show. You want to do that. You want to hit them so hard that they fly into that lava and disintegrate. How's the sound, by the way? You definitely don't want to be like Bowser and just fall into the lava yourself like an absolute moron. As this is now an even game. Bowser looking to collect the Dragoon pieces. It's, it's hard to tell what either of their game plans are here. Shy Guy with his final smash ready. Oh, just out of range of the drop kick. But which one's going to use their final smash first? It's going to be Bowser. We're just dry Bowser now. Man, what were Panther and I thinking picking this? Massive damage done the Shy Guy there, but no kill. As his damage was just a bit too low. Shy Guy needs to pick the right time to use his final smash. Unless he thinks he doesn't need to take on Bowser. Might be looking. Oh my god, Bowser showing this minion who's on top. Shy Guy getting the last Dragoon piece though, keeping it away from Bowser. Bowser absolutely destroying Shy Guy here. After all the work Shy Guy put in that tournament, Bowser proving why he's still the boss. What, what, whatever happened to the other guy who subbed? Uh, Pelzio subbed because Joker lost a match, not because he's here a lot. Because I think he is in Europe, and it's like normally 2 a.m. for him when we start streaming, so... It's, he's, he's not at stream super often, unless I'm streaming super fucking late. Or I guess theoretically super early, but I never stream super early, unless I'm playing Pokemon. Bowser killing himself again! Those are times I was like late when it comes to stream time, exactly. Shy Guy at a dangerously high percentage, though. Bowser dangerously stupid, however. Dunks crawling into my lap. Shy Guy with a barrage of missiles trying to knock the Dragoon pieces out of him. Shy Guy didn't even see him when he got the second Dragoon piece. Shy Guy could win this if he gets that last Dragoon piece from Bowser, but Bowser was able to hold on to it then. Dunks, are you going to be okay? I got home today and Dunks had vomited all over my bed. Look at this combo by Shy Guy. Look at this combo by Shy Guy. This could be it for Bowser. Shy Guy might have just turned this fight around at the last second. Did you see that wall juggling? As Bowser blows himself up. I'm trying to look at a replay there. It looks like a bomb spawned on top of Bowser while he was breathing fire. And that launched him into the lava, killing him. Oh, come on. They're taking Buddy from Buddy Murphy's name. I saw that. What a choke. Shy Guy 
coming out victorious against Bowser, but probably not as dominantly as he had hoped. Dunks, I need you to get off me now. Oh my god, Dunks, what are you doing? He legit just dead-weighted and rolled onto the keyboard. That bomb was paid off. Shy Guy called in a tactical nuke. Gesundheit Dunks. Does Bowser even have a win-loss record? No, no Bowser does not. Well, now he does, and it's garbage. But really, there's so many people with a win-loss record. Unless you're going on, like, an undefeated streak, your win-loss record doesn't mean a whole lot. Because there's so many people. Shy Guy's record of 5-0, and looking very good. But then again, that wasn't nearly as dominant as he was hoping. Shy Guy he, uh, has a guy. A shy guy. All right, whatever. Our next match of the evening. Hope you're all ready for more matches like that here at Great Cave Offensive. And this next match, actually. Wouldn't they include Meow Bowser? Dude, Dry Bowser absolutely should have been a skin. Do we not have, like, a competitive rule set? Well, we're going to change that right now because we're going to have ourselves a little bit of a competitive matchup. Final Smash Meter will be on. No items, though. Because this this is going to be a match featuring a man who's been on a bit of a rampage lately. Someone who's been getting a little bit angry. Throwing a little bit of a fit. That's right. Ganondorf. No, Ganondorf absolutely rioting lately for lack of a better word and is demanded here at Great Cave Offensive that he has once again the Ganondorf open challenge he wants somebody he wants anybody to come fight him so he can finally prove himself to be the best the dwarf is all dwarf and no action who is going to step up and take Ganondorf's open challenge here at Great Cave Offensive. It's the hero! He's gonna put a stop to this dastardly villain once and for all. The Luminary here to shut Ganondorf down. Ganondorf attacking Rob. Just attacking everyone backstage. Causing all kinds of havoc. And the hero is tired of it. The Luminary here to put up a fight. But Ganondorf, he's been training. Even Pichu says he hasn't been able to calm Ganondorf down. After all the rage he's been felt inside of him. But the Luminary might be calming him down by force. But look at that up smash. And another up smash. Killing him with two big moves. Followed up by a parry. Is this the hero's debut? No, he was in, uh... He was in the first tournament. With all the other DLC characters. I feel like Incineroar would be great for this stage. Oh, nice move there. Dodge into up smash by the Luminary. Oh, up throw. Almost got him with the Toriel. And there's the hero's final smash. Calling in all of the other heroes to help the Luminary out. But Ganondorf at a very low percentage. Still here, still ready to fight. Those forward airs. Doing a ton of damage to the Luminary. I don't know how smart it is to be fighting up here for the Luminary. Gandorf clearly has exactly what he needs up there. Why did he jump all the way down? Slowly working his way back up. Has his final smash ready at any moment and catches him right off the ledge. But the, the Ganon Beast, the Beast Ganon misses. Only got him with the sword, just did a little bit of damage. That is not good for Ganondorf as he's able to hold on. The stage benefits the dwarf. It benefits the dwarf very heavily, but the Luminary kills him in the lava. Ganondorf needs to lure the, uh, lure the Luminary back up top. That's where he had the big advantage. But the Luminary just zoning him out right now. Nice stomp there by Ganondorf. The Luminary still holding on, though. Dunks, what are you doing? Give me a second. I'm gonna mute my mic.
Alright, I have no idea how that match ended. I apologize. Dunks was making very, very nasty wet noises over by his plate, and I actually thought he was choking on food. I don't know what he was doing or why he was making those noises, but he is fine. But that had me very concerned because he was just making very gross. It was like a smacking noise, but it, sa it, it sounded like he was gagging and smacking at the same time. It was very horrible. So everyone in chat was saying Ganondorf got baited and that his anger got the best of him. So I will take their word for it because the Luminary has clearly won. Ganondorf, speaking of records, now 0-3. Which is not a record you want to be seen having at any point. <coughs> Crowd pretty, uh, pretty split on this match. Well, it's time that we move on to a, a battlefield match, a home field advantage battle, if you will, as I'm going to change the rules back to regular rule set. I don't remember if I had a name for, like, the battlefield match. Please, for the love of God. All I know is it's going to star someone from the game this stage takes place in, and it's going to be none other then King DDD. King DDD will face off against an opponent here on the battlefield. And his opponent is going to be Sonic the Hedgehog. Wait, I remember now. I, I messed it up. Let me restart. I forgot. Battlefield is supposed to be stamina. That was the whole gimmick of it. No, silence, fiend. We're going to fix this. Also, get ready for the bitrate to fucking die horribly. Is this the darkest timeline, Sonic? There's only one way for us to find out. Please give me Battlefield Great Cave Offensive. <coughs> I just created a rule set. Who fucking cares? Stamina. These motherfuckers have all the stamina in the world. Items all on medium. Fantastic. <clears throat> well, let's hope not. If it's a fiend, you should let it in. Alright, this is gonna be a big Sammy. Alright, I don't know why you just did that. I hate the fucking controls for Nintendo Switch, like, keyboard things. Thank you for finally taking a drink, Dunks. I don't know why you didn't earlier. There was a reason Sonic wasn't in any tourney. I can't remember. Is Darkest Timeline Sonic us or Alpha Rad idea? Darkest Timeline Sonic was... I don't know if that also happened to Alpha Rad. It definitely happened in ours because Sonic almost won the entire original Settle and Smash tournament. He got, like, real close to the end. And started beating, like, all of our favorites. And that's where Darkest Timeline came from. That was, that was like, the, like, the f Settle It and Smash Ultimate. Like, the, the tournament that had every character in it. Sonic was just, like, tearing ass in it. Alright, here we go. And then we did the tag tournament, and he's, like, lost every match immediately ever since. It was a big tournament with big money won. Yeah, that's right. Well, I mean, Marth already had a bunch of money. Of course, stamina means nothing uh, if you bait the other person off the edge, considering everyone only has one life, so keep that in mind. That was your first dream? Hell yeah, Settle and Smash brought in the big monies. The big views. None of them have ever done as well as that one where, uh... Also, look at these spinner combos as that one where, uh... Rob won and became the number one contender. People were big fans of that one. Oh, both playing a dangerous game right there. Oh, 
As a big combo by King Dedede. Who has taken more damage than Sonic. But I feel like he's more likely to potentially bait Sonic off the edge. As Sonic using his best friend in the whole wide world, Shadow, to slow down time. I know it wasn't actually Shadow, but it was Shadow in spirit. Man, what was Trey doing before Frosty? Uh, streaming? <coughs> Quite a few things. And then before I was streaming, I was doing videos that were not streams. Look at that. Look at that reverse ledge guarding by DDD. And he's got a bomb in his hand. You never know when he's going to bust it out. It could be at any moment. He could just hit Sonic with a... Oh, he baited him. Baited him into the final smash. Not playing Monster Energy Generation Ultimate. Yeah, bent in. Big hit there doing some solid damage. But now here comes Super Sonic. And is Super Sonic... I don't think Super Sonic's going to knock DD off the top. Oh! Oh my god. DD just lost like 100 HP from doing that. D took a lot of damage right there, and it's going to bust out Super Sonic yet again. Super Sonic is not going to kill because he's not taking increased knockback, but he is going to whittle down his health even more. As DD busting out Meloetta. Trying to keep Sonic on his toes. Sonic really should go for that assist trophy. He desperately needs it right now. Even if he is 100 HP ahead, he does not want to get just absolutely gangbang. And Waluigi out on the field. Are you telling me Super Sonic is bad? I'm telling you Super Sonic is useless. Here comes a big hammer smash by King DDD. Good kick there by Sonic, though. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this teamwork. As DDD takes the lead once again. Dodging the drill. Throwing Sonic into the center. I'm surprised that Gordo didn't hit. Oh, that's going to be real bad for Sonic if DDD gets his hands on that hammer. You don't want to see DDD dual wield a hammer at all. But that might be exactly what we see here. Unless he's just going to guard it and keep Sonic from getting it. Finnegan in play. Oh, Sonic, you idiot. Now he's running. He's just trying to get away now. And Finnegan might be saving Sonic here. What a move. And now Sonic has the hammer. That was a great play by Sonic getting the hammer. As long as he doesn't jump off the edge like a complete moron. D down the half health. Why is it so bad? The bitrate or Super Sonic? Remember when Super Sonic killed so many favorites? Nope. Oh my god! Did he do it? Oh, Sonic almost baited DDD off the edge. I'm actually amazed that both of them made it back from that. That was extremely close. <coughs> I'm curious who would have gotten that final smash had Sonic broke it when DDD threw him into it. Dude, see, get him off the edge. Oh, hitting him from behind. Definitely not going to kill, but it's going to be free damage. Trying to close that gap a little bit more. But now here comes Super Sonic yet again. Continues to be absolutely useless. Really putting those final smashes to the test here. Big hit there by DDD. Who's only a little bit behind. Could very well still turn this around. But Sonic trying to keep that from happening. Great ledge guard. With the bouncer there. I forget what that thing's even called. Th this might be it for DDD. He might be. No, he's able to roll through. Sonic now on the other side of it, though. What is knockback? Non-existent for Sonic. He's still in the lead, though. Even with his final smash being absolute hot, poopy garbage. He is still in the lead from sheer damage alone. Is just because DDD can hit hard, Sonic can hit fast. And maybe that's what matters, just whittling down the damage over time. Good parry, but it gets knocked away. As now Sonic, about the same size as King DDD, he could potentially kill. 
With tiny baby DD, I don't think he will, but it's possible. And he's actually, he should have got some hits in if you wanted to try and kill. <coughs> Sonic should be in the ultimate smash off. No, Sonic should be in the super shitty smash off with Bowser Jr. Goes untied. As DDD trying to block him off the edge. That, I think that might be a kill. That was incredible. Did you see that combo? Wait, is he making it back? Oh, dude, I really thought he might have killed him there. <laughs> That's so good. The screen went dark for a second out of habit. I tried to mess with my controller and brighten it up. Super Sonic trying to take. It, does, it doesn't help Sonic that DDD can just float in the air above it. That was such a good DDD combo, and it's just probably not going to mean anything. Sonic could just get the big gun. There it is. All oh, blowing him away, doing a ton of damage. There is now almost a 200 HP. And it don't mean nothing. Dying to the spring. Absolutely gimped at the last second. <laughs> what a play. Dude, that's like a Bowser Jr. play. I do that with Bowser Jr. all the time. Where I just push someone off and then up B with the little bomb. <laughs> the boop out of nowhere. Cutting off DDD's recovery. Sonic has defeated King DDD on his own home court. That was great. What a finish. After saying repeatedly that I don't think that's going to happen anyone. Has Sonic had a match since the tourney bracket started? Because DDD has not. Sonic has not either. It's one of those things where like there's so many characters that everyone is so used to plays themselves. It's like, oh shit, that was someone's debut. Could have felt like they were here a million times. At least he didn't you lose to the ultimate smash. The boop that stopped our heart. He went for the up B but got stopped by the spring. The spring should be his final smash out of nowhere. Indeed he is. I'm going to blow my nose for a second. I will be right back. Alright gamers, it's time for the next match. A match we've all been excited for. A match we all can't wait to see. It is time for the final smash off. Lucas, Lucario, final smash v final smash. Which one is going to come out on top? We're going to just edit this. We're going to crank it up to five. Finals? No, we're not, because it's Great Cave Offensive. What a fucking dumb thing that would be to do. Items. This is on. That's on high. Screw it, they're on five lives. <coughs> can I do... Can I adjust the final smash meter? Underdog boost. If you're losing, you'll receive no assistance. Receive a power boost. I would like to receive a final smash boost, but that's fine. <coughs> My computer died at the best part. What were the items again? The smash ball. Alright, here we go. Final smash meter on. Only item. Final smash ball on high. Which one of these two competitors has the better final smash and the better skills to use them? Lucario, Lucas, one on one. Here we go. Who does chat have in this thrilling final smash off? Right at the gate, Lucario bonking himself on the spike ball. Not a very smart move, but unlike Lucas, who does a similar thing, Lucario at least has some berserker strats to be able to take advantage of it. I think these two are just waiting for the final smash ball to come out. 
Do you even need to ask? The ref. I can't escape that shitty, shitty joke. Oh, and here comes... Oh! Lucario dodging that minecart. What are they doing? What the fuck are they doing? They're trying to play footsies with each other midair. The final smash ball heads out. It doesn't need them. This really is just a game of footsies. I mean, Incineroar, who's waiting at Chili's for an opportunity. Yeah, man. I mean, Incineroar, probably not going to be here tonight. If he was, if he wanted to be here, probably should have won a tournament or something. Oh, and Lucario hit by the minecart. That's going to do a little bit of damage to him. Nice hit there by Lucario. Send him flying, getting him again. Trying to play it carefully. Lucario looking for some air-based offense. And Lucas blows up Lucario but kills himself in the meantime. Well, Lucario almost kills himself there. You son of a... I don't have any slander against my friend. It's not slander, it's true. He didn't win a tournament, so he's not here. Lucario. Or Lucas getting the kill against Lucario right there. Nice! Up smash. Into a PK fire. Lucas using that PK fire very respectfully. Nice combo potential. It's not very often we have face versus face competition here at the big events. But they both have extremely scummy final smashes. So that's where it balances out. And he uses his final smash to save himself from the lava. The first individual to bust out his final smash. And Lucas is going to counter with his final smash. And something tells me Lucas' has final smash not nearly as good here on Great Cave Offensive. <laughs> These biased people. So much hate. And now there's another Smash Ball in play. I think these two are starting to realize exactly what it means to be in a final Smash Off. You need to bust your final Smash out at every given opportunity as he just blows Lucas away and vaporizes him. They're finally starting to bust out their final Smashes, doing exactly what they need to. Lucario just trying to dodge Lucas until another final Smash can appear. What is one ridiculous character you want to join Smash? Well, I mean... Glover is going to join Smash. What a counter by Lucario. <coughs> Glover's pretty wacky. Trey, you do realize what SMH means, right? Yeah, it means shut my head the fuck up when you fucking talk to me, you pieces of shit. Alright? It means suck my hog. I'm tired of y'all disrespecting me. Lucario down to three lives as well. <coughs> Almost a great combo by Lucas. And he actually does successfully pull out a fatty right there. Killing Lucario and taking the lead. <coughs> Lucas, hey, he's starting to get a little trigger happy with that PK fire. Maybe getting a little desperate. Is this a side of Lucas we haven't seen before? A very zesty, toasty side of him. Trying to hit Lucario with the baseball back. Nice little backflip. PK fire. Countered. These two just throwing things like... It's like, of course, or lol. No, because OFC does not stand for anything. It's just short for of course. Oh! Lucario saving himself from the PK Star Storm. And that's going to get rid of Lucas right there. Lucario needs to get off the top. Oh, and smashed upwards right there. Lucas with a big advantage. Spam, Lucas, spam. Of course stands for of fucking course. No, it fucking doesn't. Shut the fuck up. Let me, let me teach you an acronym, all right? S-T-F. It stands for shut your fucking fucking mouth. That's what that stands for. He's fuck. he's PK firing. You know what PK stands for? It stands for son of a bitch is what it stands for. And that's how kind of how Lucas is acting right this moment. <laughs> Stop being on the top of crowd. He's busting out PK fires into an up smash. Lucas defeats Lucario, but at what cost?
was what was that sword? Lucario has lost. This was supposed to be a match about final smashes, but Lucas busting out PK fires left and right. Something just felt dirty about that one personally. I, I didn't like what Lucas was doing there. I thought he was I thought he was better than this. At least Lucas had to spam, little bitch. Oh, I don't feel happy about it. I thought Lucas was a good little boy. Oh, I don't feel so good about that one. Uh, but what I do feel good about... Where's the... Careful. Is it? Yeah, it is. What I do feel good about is the fact that it's time for the big return. The match that everyone loves, but that we haven't seen in a while. Maybe it was Ness with a wig. I thought it was two faces battling on a face and a bitch. Woo. It is time for the fun wheel challenge. I call it the big wheel challenge. I don't know why I did that. It is the fun wheel challenge. For those of you who have never seen the Fun Wheel Challenge, oh, you are in for a treat. As eight competitors that were randomly decided beforehand and will now be entered in one by one must get on top of the Fun Wheel. They, uh, here's the thing. It's not much of a fight. You're absolutely welcome to hit each other if you want, but your main goal is to be the last individual on the Fun Wheel. They will have 10 stocks each. No items will be on. It is purely a battle to stay on the fun wheel longer than anyone else. No! I'm not spoiling it for those of you who haven't seen the fun wheel. Dude, I hate the character select so much. Mako, where are you at? With this. Dude, what sucks too is like when stuff like this happens, they like DM me as well. And it's really, really fucking annoying. Where is the. Can I not even do this? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Jose, close your eyes. <coughs> I'm choking now. Alright, let's fix this. Man, if only we had a mod. I know, Mako's about to get fired. <coughs> well, y'all got to see the fun wheel for a second. Alright, who else was needed here? Lucario and the other three need to get replaced. Alright. I've I've reiterated enough how it works. You just gotta stay on the wheel. The fuck is where's their Samus? And the last two Fantastic. Very convenient place for Lucario to be. No, that's not what I want. All right, here we go. The eight competitors in the fun wheel challenge. It's going to be Mario, Alf, Fox, Pit, Roy, Link, Ben Tennyson, and Samus. As I do have to change the rules though. Great rule set. It's gonna be stock, 10 stock, no final smash meter. All items are off. This is going to be the fun wheel challenge. Who does chat have? Who do you think is going to... God damn it, I got to keep fucking doing it. Who do you think is going to be able to stay on the fun wheel the longest amount of time? I think, I think Pitt and Alf have the biggest advantage here, but they could get smacked out of the air 
by any of these other competitors. Don't even know who's fighting. Nobody's fighting. They're all fighting to stay on the fun wheel. And here we go. The fun wheel has spun. You now it's a battle. They all have 10 stock. They need to try and stay on the fun wheel as much as they can. It's all about wall jumping. It's all about recovery. It's all about footstooling. It's about doing whatever you can. Look at those wall jumping skills by Mario. Look at those frame perfect slides. Oh no. I'll take Link. We still have Mario. Mario. No, Samus is the last one with all 10 of her stocks. Mario was getting real far with his wall jumping, though. It's basically impossible to tell <laughs> who's here. Sam is still holding on at 10. What is... Is Samus just jumping from the top of one to another? Oh! Samus is jumping from the top of one platform to the top of another, and when she falls, she uses her whip to tether on to the center. That's brilliant. I don't think Samus can lose. I think she's figured out. Look at this. She just tethers on when she's about to fall. Watch Samus at the very top right now. She just tethers on whenever she's about to go down. Dude, Samus can't lose. Samus is about to flawless the fun wheel challenge. She's unstoppable. Look at this. Look at her jumping from one to another. Is she still going? I, I, I lost track of her. I see her over there now. Dude, Fox is about to be the first one out by far. <laughs> Samus Van coming? Samus has perfected the big wheel challenge. <clears throat> I should have put a time limit on this because La Pit and Alf are doing super well too. Is Fox going to be the first one out of the big wheel or the fun wheel challenge here? How is he? Oh, I think he just... Fox has been eliminated. Alf still going strong. Pit doing solid as well. Samus is a new friend of mine. Nah, Samus works for herself. Dude, nobody's even touching Pit and Alf. They're not even getting into fights. Pit's like barely making it back up. It's just because he has such a good recovery. Samus is still yet to lose a single life. Or she will be a friend when I talk to her backstage. Dude, she's perfected the fun wheel challenge. These other lads are doing pretty solid at the wall jumps. They're just nothing compared to Samus. Oh, someone just went down. It was Roy down to three lives. Tied with Mario for last at the moment now that Fox is gone. Uh, do you guys think anyone has a chance at this aside from Samus? Do you think anyone can potentially stand up to Samus? Everyone falling to their deaths over and over again. Pit down to six lives. Does it look like I have money? No. <laughs> You're only one sub. Oh, Roy and Ben 10. On their last stock, Mario holding on it too. Samus, st oh, Samus has lost her first stock after all of these struggles. Benton barely making it back. And Mario down to his last life and Roy falls to his death. I've kind of forgot about Link. Link hasn't really been doing much, but he's been staying active. Mario now gone as well. And there goes Ben 10. We're down to the final four. Alf, Link, Pit, and Samus. And I think we're at the point where... Oh, Samus! Her up B! She up B at the wrong time and just threaded the needle of missing them all. She just looked at the wheel and mastered it. Samus, no. I think Samus might be at the point... I think they're all at the point where they need to start fighting each other. To try and get each other off of the fun wheel. As, you know, Link, Link's going to have the hardest time, I think, even though he's been lasting quite a while. But Pit, you know, he's, he's just rolling the dice every time he goes down. 
Meanwhile, Alf just very carefully floating his way back up whenever the time needs to be. I'm shocked Link. I guess because Link has a tether too, but he's not doing so hot. He tried, I think Link may have been copying Samus' strategy, but he's just not as good as doing it. I'm trying to watch Link to see if he does the tethers or if he's just hugging a wall. He's like hugging the wall until he goes down and then he just up B's at the perfect. So Link isn't even using a tether. He's just got perfect timing on his up B. What is he? Okay, I, was, I thought he was doing something wacky, but no, he actually he failed and was dying. Samus down to seven. Alf and Pit, five and four. Samus could choke. They're trying to fight each other off the fun wheel now. Pit, an interesting strategy of falling all the way down before launching himself back up. It's a risky move, but it keeps him away from everyone else, but then you risk that happening. Falling off without the power of your wings. Of course, the downside to Olimar is that people can knock his Pikmin away. And the downside to Sam is that her actual recovery is not that good. It's just her tether that works. If Sam is chokes. Everyone's struggling to stay on the fun wheel. Samus, Samus is going in to try and hit the others, and that might be what's costing her. She doesn't want to wait them out. She might be getting exhausted. Her, her strategy takes a lot more physical strength than these other two, relying on wings and Pikmin. She might be getting a bit tired, considering it takes all of her effort to stay on. And Pit attacking her right there. And Pit... Oh! Clips through the platform down to two stock. Alf is only one below Samus. Alf and Samus are now tied. Alf playing the wise game of just staying on his own, just focusing on staying on the fun wheel using his Pikmin, while Samus is distracted trying to attack the others and choking on her up B. Samus is down to four. Choke incoming. She did hit Alf, who just floats his way right back onto the platform. Sam is trying to fight Alf and slides down again to three stalks. Of course, for anyone unaware, the Fun Wheel Challenge does not count as a loss on anyone's win-loss record. It only counts as a win for the winner. Considering no one really beats you, you just survive. Alf down to four, though. Pit down to his last stalk. The crowd chanting choke at Samus or Samus don't choke. A very split crowd here. As Pitt holding on with everything he has left. This could be the end of his journey after everything. I, it definitely did come down to the people who I thought were the two favorites. But Samus also here not someone I was expecting to do so well at the fun wheel challenge. Sam is hitting a nice up special. Doing some damage. Alf falling to his death. Everyone's still in it. Alf and Sam is tied yet again. No, oh, Sam is timing incorrectly and falling down where she only has two left. And Pitt's been eliminated. It's down to Alf and Sam is. It's down to Alf and Sam is. It comes down to if Sam is can hold on long enough while also knocking Alf away. She's trying to charge up some attacks. She's trying to catch him at the right moment. But look at Alf. He's doing such a perfect job of just avoiding Samus. And there was nothing she could do. She couldn't grab on. She had already used her recovery move. And she slid right down. Things are not looking good for Samus here. <laughs> The crowd can't believe that it's going to be all over Samus. I don't know if I even said it, but the winner of the Fun Wheel Challenge guaranteed a match at the next event as well. Joining the Pink Villager. And it looks like it's going to be Alf securing himself a place. Sam is trying her best. That might be it. No, Sam is still in. The biggest choke. It was just too much for Samus. She was just too exhausted. She's put too much strain in it. Wait, she's coming after Alf. But Alf able to avoid yet again. It's just the two of them dancing in place. And you know, sooner rather than later, it's going to be Samus that falls short. 
instead of Alf. Alf has got this just down to a science. Dunks waddling this way. It might, it might just be time to give in, Samus. Wait, no, Alf falling down. I don't even know what happened. But Alf now only down to two. Maybe Samus does have a chance. I'm not sure. She's trying to fight him. She just needs to play carefully. Oh, up special. Is that it, though? Oh, she tried to attack him with the up special, and it cost her in the end. She got too desperate, and Alf now victorious of the fun wheel challenge. The crowd not happy. Dunks, what are you doing? Are you being stinky, Dunks? Are you being a stinky? Uh-oh, stinky. What the fuck did I come back to? Alf winning. After 10 minutes and 18 seconds. How did she lose? It was too tiring. Pitt could rely on his wings. Olimar had his Pikmin carrying him. But, uh, you know, there was, there was nothing that could be done for Samus. Samus had to fight. She had to use her actual muscles to do it, and she just wore out. It was just taking too long. She was a tired lad, a very exhausted individual. But hey, actually, it is time for our first title match of the evening, Dunks. I'm going to boop your snoot. Boop, boop. As we are going to go take part in the Squad Strike Championship match. <coughs> Was this it? Alright, yep, this is it. Did y'all understand the entire Ben 10 timeline? I didn't watch Ben 10 Omniverse, I'm sorry to say. I'm a fake fan. Before Omniverse, kinda. Of course, 5v5. This is all CPU. Make everyone CPU, please. And of course, it is going to be the defending champions representing Marth's million dollar corporation, Lucina, Mecha, Ridley, Peach, Dark Pit. What the fuck is Dark? There it is. Dark. No. 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 Alright, well, I guess I have to change Dark Pit in a second. Dark Pit. And Corrin. What the fuck is Corrin at? There's Corrin. And the Challengers. The Phantom Thieves. Led by Joker, joined by Pichu, please let me just select Pichu. Also joined by Wii Fit Trainer. And of course, their main mascot, Mishima. And they have a mystery ally joining the Phantom Thieves, lending a helping hand to try and get these titles from the Million Dollar Corporation. Why does this say Pi? Who's Corrin? Never heard of him. Like the cat thing in DD. I don't know. I just don't know. Of course, Marth. Not scheduled to be on this show at all, despite being the first ever Smash Ultimate Champion. Pulled Lucina aside. Told her she better walk out of here with that gold. Marth does not want to be goldless. Here, and settle it in Smash. And so Lucina got a lot on the line with her two matches tonight. Why do all of these say player one? I guess that's what you meant when you said Pi, but you meant P1. It looks like it says Pi. I guess that is a one. What if the random is Marth? Sabotage from the inside. Actually, if the random is Marth, it would be brilliant because it means no matter what, Marth walks out of here with the squad strike titles. But let's see who is going to help the Phantom Thieves. It's King Dedede! He came up short earlier. He was furious, but he doesn't want to go out like that. He is going in to help 
the Phantom Thieves. He wants to walk out of here with a victory. And Lucina is leading the charge of this match. It's Wally Brown, of course. Still on the Great K Offensive. We're starting out with Wii Fit Trainer fighting the captain of Marth's team, Lucina. She wants to make sure they walk out of here with the belts herself. She is leading this charge. It all is going to fall on her to take out as many competitors as she can right out of the gate. This is also smart for Lucina as she has to work double duty. So her being the first one out will actually help her have more time to rest before the double team championships are on the line. Lucina riding that minecart there. <coughs> As we fit train with a gun doing some good damage to the team captain here. Now, if you'll remember, Lucina's team actually won the titles with Corin being the last surviving member. As a surprise to everyone, Corin actually proving their worth in that squad strike title match. As Lucina now attacking We Fit Trainer in the corner, trying to launch her into the lava. Oh, we fit holding on though. Lucina trying to cut her down to size. Now sniping we fit trainer. Trying to buy herself some time. Save herself a little bit of health by not getting close. And there goes we fit trainer. Lucina takes first blood. And out comes the team captain for the Phantom Thieves, Joker. The two captains are on the field. Lucina. Oh! I think trying to go for that assist trophy, but Joker grabs it and it's Starman. I think that's definitely going to be it. As Lucina now trying to fight him off, getting hit, comboed repeatedly, but Lucina holding on, trying to fight off, avoiding Starman and Joker at the same time. Oh, and Lucina with an assist trophy of her own. And she has the final smash, something you don't see very often in Squad Strike. This could be a big deal for her. She needs to go down there and use it though while the camera is stunning Joker. Before she loses it. Is this her chance? Oh she whiffs it though and lands in the lava and dies using her final smash and killing herself. Joker has RC now. Here comes Mecha Ridley. Lucina did do a big amount of damage to Joker however. This could be good for Mecha Ridley to go get the quick kill but Joker does have RC out. Which means he's going to be doing bonus damage. Here comes the blue shell. What's it going to do? Mecha Ridley tries to block it. Able to prevent some of the damage. But still takes a hefty chunk. <coughs> and Joker flying into the lava. Going after the final smash. And Mishima is now out against Mecha Ridley. And you can tell he's pretty concerned. Mishima didn't think he'd have to come be in battle at all. Much less against something like Mecha Ridley. But he gets the final smash. Catches Mecha Ridley. Off the edge. That's going to be it for Mech. No. Mecha Ridley somehow survived the final smash. It looked like she hit him out of the way before hitting the smash. Probably not really. Joker kind of looks like a schoolboy who's been sneaking around Zelda. Probably not related. Mishima getting the kill on Mecha Ridley. Now going after Princess Peach. Mishima, of course, a little nervous. He's never been around royalty before. And Peach is going to use that to her advantage to teach this lowly peasant a lesson. She may have decided she had done enough and wanted to save her strength. It could be. I don't know. I really feel like Lucina may have been distracted having to work double duty. I really feel like she would have just gone in to make sure she walked out with the squad strike title for sure. Mishima grabbing the hammer. But will he be able to get to Princess Peach in time? He's rushing. What is what is Mishima doing? Mishima, you fool. Peach hitting him with the up B. That hammer's still in play. Who's going to get it? And Peach baits Mishima into it and hits him with the hammer. Peach, you and Didi, the only ones left. Peach, you wisely waiting for that hammer to run out before going down there to fight Princess Peach. Has to use his abilities carefully here. Hitting her with a fat juggle, though. Some good dodges by Pichu. Did get hit by that grab. Running in after her. Playing it safe. 
Oh, but Peach able to grab the Pokeball and brings out a Meowth. Pichu falling in lava doing some damage. Beat that Pichu trying to steal my Disciple. And now Peach putting Pichu to sleep. This could be the death of Pichu. She can just walk up and do whatever she wants. Hits him with the hip attack. I don't know if I agree that that was the best move to do there. German suplex, but Peach counters it into an attack of her own. And into the up smash. King Dedede, the man who came to help the Phantom Thieves, is the only competitor left. And here comes Corrin, the man who won them the Squad Strike Championship last time. Will he do it again here in this title defense? Or will Dedede prove himself to the Phantom Thieves here? What a combo. Oh my god, he's shooting that Gordo everywhere. And there's a Smash Ball in play. Corrin trying to get down to it. DDD not wanting to let that happen. You have to admit it was smart of Corrin. What is DDD doing? You have to admit it was smart of Corrin to get out from the top and to go after the final smash as that could seal the deal for them. DDD trying to keep his distance. Doesn't want to get caught by a final smash. Oh, and he knocks it out! Hitting the ball but didn't get the final smash for some reason. And Corrin! Kills himself, jumping into the lava. It's down to Dark Pit and King Dedede, who has a final smash. Who is going to be victorious here? Dark Pit knocking it out of Dedede. Fighting up on the top. Dedede at a high percentage. Dark Pit gets the final smash. Tries to hit a smash attack of his own. What's Dedede going to do? No! Hit by the snipe! And Dark Pit sniping Dedede away. And the Million Dollar Corporation retains the Squad Strike Championship. <laughs> DDD, what the hell? OMG, David. DDD, just absolutely running wild. Almost killed three competitors. Had the most kills of anyone on the team. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Pit Smash is underrated. I know, I know, Dunker, I know. What a crazy battle that was. The Million Dollar Corporation defeat the Phantom Thieves. Marth has to be feeling real good, popping open a bottle of champagne in the back, Dunks. But he shouldn't celebrate too hard yet because they still have a tag title match to happen. But before... We go into the tag title match. We have a different, very special match here tonight. Man, the Phantom Thieves wasted the advantage they had in the four versus five squad strike. For you see, it is now time for Princess Zelda to have a match. And this is, uh... It's going to be a very, a very special type of match. For you see, we told Zelda when she won her tournament, she could fight anyone she wanted. And she told us she wants to fight her past. She wants to reject her humanity. She wants to become the royalty she knows she truly is. And so, with a proprietary technology... This battle will take place inside the mind of Princess Zelda. A barren wasteland currently void of memories, which can co coincidentally also looks like Great Cave Offensive. And Princess Zelda, with no items, no final smashes, only their raw strength must battle the depths of her psyche as she faces off against her past self. For if Princess Zelda wins, she will reject her past and her humanity, giving up everything that has ever been a part of her. But if her subconscious wins, all of her memories will come back and she will remember everything. What were the rules for the make any match in Smash Fire Pro World? There were none. You if it's if it's the make any match, you can do whatever. 
within a very, very small amount of, like, reason. Like, you can't be like, if this person loses, they're never in Subtle It and Smash again. But that's basically the only rule? For the regular make a match, you just gotta discuss it with me to make sure it's okay. And here we go. Zelda versus Sheik. Will Zelda reject her humanity? Or will everything come flooding back? For those of you unaware, uh, a little behind the scenes, uh, Zelda got buffed in the most recent patch, which came after the tournament she won. Sheik got very, very slightly buffed. Zelda apparently got massively buffed. But Sheik, having none of it, fighting back here, doing everything she can to make herself remember. Sheik going absolutely wild. This subconscious psyche. Her shadow self, if you will, to go from a bit of persona logic. All but Zelda hitting Sheik hard here. <coughs> Sheik hits fast. Zelda does a lot of damage from a distance, though. Nice grab into a combo, and just like that, it's even again. And that's what's going to make this a possibly difficult match. What was that? Corner combo there by Sheik into the up smash from Zelda. All that damage matters none when you have no kill power. Zelda hitting repeated up airs here. Yeah, that's right. Sheik's kill power did not get buffed at all. For some reason. Oh, big explosion right to the face. From Zelda. As Sheik's still holding on, taking some shots, trying to go after Zelda, and Zelda just gets him with a throw, and right just like that, Sheik already 125% again. Oh my card out of nowhere. Zelda almost up being into the uh the lava. Which would have been not very good at 101% and a punch. Both down the two lives, but Sheik, Sheik, you are being very dangerous right now. Why are you jumping around the lava? What is Sheik's plan here? Oh, through the minecart into Zelda. What a play that was. And the side B, Sheik playing a bit more strategically now. Sheik may not have kill power of her own, but she can use that minecart to be the kill power she needs. Frosty, she's too royal to be your disciple. She's probably forgotten who you are. Zelda can be willing. That's what she believes anyway. Sheik's still holding on, though, at 130%. Well, if Sheik wins, Zelda will remember everything. It won't matter what she believes. It'll be what she knows. Both at 100% now. Oh, and the minecart almost catching both of them. What was Sheik doing? Why did Sheik just fall into the lava? It's a mental machine breaking apart. Oh! In the sneak attack, it's one on one, zero percent each, but Sheik foolishly jumping into the spikes. What is Sheik doing? Sheik's got some brain damage. Sheik's got a little bit of brain damage here. Oh, and throwing herself into the spikes yet again. Sheik is not doing Sheik needs to get out of this area. This area is not good for Sheik. What is Sheik doing? Zelda taking advantage, and that's the game. That that area just screwed Sheik right there. <laughs> Zelda's past was catching up to her real quick. But it got caught on a bit of a snag. Mudkip now playing Pokemon Sword. Zelda. Now victorious. Waking up from her trance after throwing away her past. She's very excited. Oh, we do a, a little bit of a... We got, we got a word from her in the back now that she's woken up. She's absolutely thrilled to be, to be herself. What she truly feels she was meant to be. And now she knows she is true royalty. The only true royalty. And she knows that nobody can stand in her way anymore. Zelda teleporting out of the arena by herself after saying those haunting words. 
But there's no time to linger as we must now go into our double team championship match. <clears throat> Where it is, of course, going to be the defending champions, Lucina, who just made it through a squad strike match. Although, again, she wisely went first, so she's had a little bit more time to rest, teaming up with her partner, Ludwig. As they are your double team champions. No, no, no. You are red team. Not nah, fuck it, they're blue team. This is red team. No, you know what? For this, they're green team. And green team is, of course, going to be the team of Wally and the Wall. Where the fuck is the wall? Where is Ike? He's like, oh, he's over here. I just have to wait for a phone call. That's all. I hope Zelda remembers what happened that way. She doesn't care. Zelda doesn't care. Zelda's already thrown away her past. Now, is her room being empty of her belongings and notes saying that she's leaving a bad omen? Sure, but she'll come back to the person who set her down the winning path. Uh, team attack is off. That is what I wanted. Alright, here we go. Well, Lucina's already making sure to bring one belt back to Marth, but you gotta know he's sitting in the back wanting all of the gold, wanting Lucina and Ludwig to pull through here and bring both the squad strike and the double team championships back home to him. Lucina, of course, forced to do this. As Marth paid Krom's way into Smash Ultimate, Lucina now in debt. Defeated Piranha Plant and uh, Morton to win the double team championships. Uh, they were Morton, Piranha Plant being the inaugural champions, winning the belts as well as the two million dollar grand prize, which I've been told they still they still have not agreed on what to use it with. They almost bought two million dollars worth of dots candy but decided against that. I'll be sure to keep you up to date with how those inaugural champs plan to spend their winnings. Kirby just blew himself up with a sticky bomb. Wally. She'll visit like a son daughter visits their parents in the home. Man, Frosty, at least when people I represent cheat me out, I know when they do it. Retirement home, I only have friends. Wally, foolishly punching that sticky bomb. Don't really know what Wally was thinking. He's got the home field advantage, but then again, so did Dedede, and he lost both his matches. As the wall still looking good here. Lucina taking a fall before the wall does. Ludwig holding on, though. I think Ludwig, Ludwig just casually buying his time. Look at what Ludwig's doing over there in the cannon. Just jumping around, just buying himself some time. You can't die if you're not part of the fight. But then again, that does mean he's leaving Lucina to fight on her own after she's already tired. But maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe Lucina is just driven to make sure this all goes according to plan. Ludwig's just waiting it out in the corner. Wally in the wall down to three left lives left cumulatively. As we just saw Ludwig lose his first life. The wall has a final smash, as does Wally. But they need to find a good time to use it. And the wall whiffs his final smash. Wally needs to bust his out soon. Zelda isn't coming back to me, is she? I didn't think of a backup plan. This happens. Excuse me, I'm gonna go cry in my bed. Don't worry, she may never come back. At least she'll have me, your best friend. Hey, Frosty, I'm sure there's another person somewhere you can trick. I mean, train. Oh, what just happened? Who got hit? Oh, the wall got hit by Lucina's final smash. And unless I missed it, Kirby let his uh, final smash just waste. Wally and the Wall did so good in that double team tournament. I don't know why they're doing so poorly against the champions here. As the Wall 
grabbing a bomb but getting blown away. Each one of them only having one life left. Ludwig now going metal. Wall, you trying to force him into a corner. As we see Ike almost aethering himself into the lava. Ludwig with the final smash. It's not a good final smash, but it's definitely going to rack up some damage on Wally and the wall here. Almost killed wa the wall, but they're still holding on for now. Ludwig just looking for the perfect moment to strike as he runs away. Lucina trying to cut him off. Things are not looking well for the challengers here. It looks like Marth walking away with all of his lackeys bringing the belts to him as well. Maybe you can sell yourself to Marth. Oh, Ludwig killing himself there as Lucina dies as well. I have no idea. Oh, they got a pow block and it killed the wall. Oh, it's all down to Wally now. It's all down to Wally. He's so scared. He knows they have a pow block and they're using it. But it looks like they might have hurt themselves a bit. Pac-Man now live. Could be looking to do some damage to Wally. He's trying to avoid the ghosts. They're coming for him, though. The ghosts are coming for Wally. He can't avoid them all. Lucina and Ludwig trying to gang up on him. Wally at 165%. Gets killed by a Mecha Koopa. No, he's holding on 174. They're coming for him. And there they go, taking him off the edge. And just like that, Lucina and Ludwig, victorious yet again. Retaining the belts, all of the gold being brought back to Marth, as I'm sure he's absolutely ecstatic right now. Or rather, all of the uh, gold except for one, which we are going to see right now. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your Settle It and Smash main event of the evening. It's time now I'd like to remind you if you would like to uh, recommend a stage for the next Settle It and Smash event, you can do so on the subreddit, on the YouTube comments, or on Twitter. But now it is time for the challenger, that dastardly hacker Jigglypuff, to go one on one against the Smash Ultimate Champion, Rob. Of course, these two were tag team partners in the tag tournament after Jigglypuff hacked Rob to force him to work with her, but he rebelled against the malware programming. Jigglypuff then went on to win the number, one's can, the number one contenders tournament before jumping Rob and stealing a bit of his core to create the safety danger robot. Ganondorf, as unrelated part of his rage, attacking Rob in the hospital. Rob has been through quite a lot. He is not going into this fight 100%. But let's just see if he can stand up. How's chat doing? What about Sheik? Sheik is Zelda. What about Sheik? She fucking locked up real tight inside Zelda. All right. Here we go. The main event. Jigglypuff and Rob one-on-one. -on -one. Great cave offensive for the Smash Ultimate Championship. Who does Chad have in this one? Ultra rooting for Rob. <coughs> Rob has actually not had a match since the uh, tourneys started. No reason for him to. He, he was the world champion. So technically his record is 0-0 despite being the uh, second ever champion. Jigglypuff, meanwhile, believe four into O. Oh, after all those wins, she's garnered and just absolutely decimating Rob already. Starting to see how she won that number one contenders tournament. 
She's just playing with Rob here. But he's starting to fight back the champ. If you'll remember, when Rob was getting ready to fight Marth, he had a lot of training sessions, a lot of sparring to practice. you got to wonder if maybe with this new tourney rule set, he hasn't had as much time to train. That might be costing Rob here. May not be as prepared for Jigglypuff as he was for Marth. On a big punch, but Rob able to hold on. Rob trying to get that final smash orb. He knows it'll help him quite a bit. And he gets it. He's just got to find the right opportunity to use it. I think Ganondorf messed Rob up more than we thought. That's completely possible. As Rob now go for the final smash. But it's nowhere near Jigglypuff. Who's just stay easily stays out of range. And oh my god. Rob using his engines to just barely push himself out of the way of the lava, but couldn't do it forever. Rob now down the two stalks. Jigglypuff still on all three. Looking real strong here in this World Ultimate Championship match. And already they're almost back to an even percentage. He may need to reboot. Well, he's got no time for that right now. Jigglypuff just playing cautiously. Oh, nice bomb drop there. Oh, he's pumping. Oh, he's... Rob, he's getting the juice. We all... Oh, my God! That... I was about to say, as we all know, Rob's got the juice. But that was just absolutely incredible. I can't believe what I just witnessed there. What an absolutely masterful rest from Jigglypuff, who might actually no-stalk the Smash Ultimate Champion. Oh, Jigglypuff. Oh, and what a place to use it. Rob can't get away. Final smash. She did it. Jigglypuff no stalked Rob to become the Smash Ultimate Champion. What a squash match. In less than three minutes. You really needed to reboot. Jigglypuff only did 176% to Rob. Gotta build her up strong. Jigglypuff absolutely decimating Rob here. Maybe Jigglypuff paid Rob to lose. Jigglypuff doesn't have that kind of money. We know Jigglypuff didn't hack Rob since Rob has that malware protection ever since the first hack. But we also know a piece of Rob's core was mit was taken, missing from him right now, put into safety danger, and he was attacked by Ganondorf. So he was definitely not 100% going into this, but clearly it damaged him much more than any of us would have expected. I think maybe Rob shouldn't have been cleared for combat but there was nothing we could have done. Jigglypuff, your new Smash Ultimate Champion. And with how dominant Jigglypuff has looked, now going 5-0 and oh and destroying the former champion, we have to look to the future. You have to wonder who is going to be the next person to face off against Jigglypuff. Could it be Lucas, newly spamming PK Fire? Could it be Alf? Could it be, I don't even remember, the pink villager could be it. Could it be the newly unrepentant Zelda? Could it be Byleth, Lucario? There's so many people that could face off against Jigglypuff, and we're going to find out who it is next Friday when we come back to settle it in Smash. Never mind. No, we're not. Next Friday is the Fire Pro World event. So it's going to be on the 21st, Settle It and Smash is going to return. So be sure to join me next Friday for Fire Pro World, Broken Bonds, The Last Ride of the Kool-Aid Man. Could it be Incineroar, especially once I make any match I want? I mean, that's correct. If, he, if you choose to have Incineroar fight for the world title, that just means that whoever the champ is is going to have to defend it twice in one night. 
Incineroar might win it and then have to defend it against the winner of the tournament. Who knows? But we will find out at a later date. Maybe three times we could have ourselves a championship gauntlet match. So be sure to send recommendations for where you want the next event to be. Next stream will be this Sunday. Uh, it'll be Dungeon of the Endless. You'll all get to be Chaos again. Shut the fuck up, Frosty. I know you don't have enough points to make it fourth times. Maybe I'll just say fuck it, and it, 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 we're just maybe one day we'll just have a gauntlet. Maybe it'll just be every character in Smash, and when one loses, another comes in, and they just hot potato the title back and forth. Maybe that'll happen someday. Who knows? Stay tuned.